Claudia from Scandinavian today. I'm going to make sauerkraut or actually it is the Norwegian kind which is called surkål. And in Norway it's very popular to serve sauerkraut or surkål uh, during the Christmas holidays with other kinds of food. And I happen to like surkål a lot so I'm going to make it. And hopefully you'll also enjoy it. I think it's delicious. So here we have all the ingredients for my Norwegian sauerkraut. I have two cups of apple cider vinegar. I have about two and a half pound of uh, white cabbage. I have two apples. I have three tablespoons of butter, half a teaspoon of caraway seeds, two teaspoons of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar. So let's get started. I cut the cabbage in half and now I'm going to shred it. And I'm also going to remove the stem. Okay. But first I'm going to shred as much as possible to so get closer to the stem. Then it's easier to remove the stem. So I melted the butter and now I'm adding the shredded cabbage. And while it's beginning to cook, I will shred the apples and I'll add the apples in a couple of minutes. So I put it at a low heat and start shredding the apples. So here you see the apples I included, and I now add the two teaspoons of salt, tablespoon, two tablespoons of sugar, and I'm also adding the caraway seeds. And then stir it all up, and then I'm going to cook it for quite a long time. Also, the cabbage is going to collapse right now. Still part of it, but we'll get down there. And you know, you want to stir in between until the cabbage has collapsed. And I will probably cook it for one and a half to two hours. It should be finished. Put on the lid and I'll be back. So the co cabbage has collapsed a little bit and uh, I will now add all the vinegar. And I'll be back in about approximately one and a half hours. This should be fine. Put on the lid and I, I will check on it in about an hour and see how it looks. And the sauerkraut cooked for about an hour and of course I'm going to taste it now because I like it a lot. So here I'm tasting my Norwegian surkål or sauerkraut. Mmm, I like it. I really like the way they make it. And uh, of course, I also grew up eating some surkål in, Dan in Denmark. And at the time when I lived in Germany, I was eating sauerkraut a lot. So I never get tired of it. And of course, it keeps really well in the refrigerator. So it's nice to have. So I hope you also like sauerkraut or surkål. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and score.